Programming example, sales data analysis. A company has six salespeople. Every month, they go on road trips to sell the company's product. At the end of each month, the total sales for each salesperson, together with that salesperson's ID and the month, is recorded in a file. At the end of each year, the manager of the company wants to see this report. The report is in the following tabular format. In this report, QT1 stands for quarter 1, months 1 to 3. QT2 stands for quarter 2, months 4 to 6. QT3 for quarter 3, months 7 to 9. And QT4 for quarter 4, months 10 through 12. Maximum sale by salesperson ID, the amount for the same, the maximum sale by quarter, and the amount for the same are noted from this table. Based on the problem's requirements, it is clear that the main components for each salesperson are the salesperson's ID, quarterly sales amount, and total annual sales amount. Because the components are of different types, we can group them with the help of a struct defined as follows. There are six salespeople, so we will use an array of six components. The array salesperson list with six components looks like this. It also shows the ID, sale by quarter, and total sale corresponding to each component. The first step of the program is to read the salesperson's IDs into the array salesperson list and initialize the quarterly sales and total sales for each salesperson to zero. After this step, the array salesperson list will look like this. The previous discussion translates into the following algorithm. Initialize the array salesperson list. Process the sales data. Calculate the total sales by quarter. Calculate the total sales by salesperson. Print the report. Calculate and print the maximum sales by salesperson. Calculate and print the maximum sales by quarter. These are the functions the program will use. Function initialize to initialize the quarterly and total sales amount. Function get data to read the sales data. Function sale by quarter to calculate the company's total sale for each quarter. Function total sale by person calculates each salesperson's yearly sales amount. Function print report prints the annual report. Function max sale by person prints the name of the salesperson who produces the maximum sales amount. Function max sale by quarter calculates the quarter in which maximum sales were made. This is the function definition for initialize. This function reads the salesperson's ID from the input file and stores the salesperson's ID in the array list. It also initializes the quarterly sales amount and the total sales amount for each salesperson to zero. Next, we will type in the function definition for get data. This function reads the sales data from the input file and stores the appropriate information in the array salesperson list. Read the salesperson's ID month and sales amount for the month. Search the array to locate the component corresponding to the salesperson. Determine the quarter corresponding to the month. Update the sales for the quarter by adding the sales amount for the month. Display error message if the salesperson's ID entered is invalid. Next we will type in the function definition for sale by quarter. This function finds the company's total sales for each quarter. This function has three parameters. To find the total sales for each quarter, we add the sales amount of each salesperson for that quarter. Clearly, this function must have access to the array salesperson list and the array total sale by quarter. Next is the function definition for total sale by person. This function finds each salesperson's yearly sale amount. To find an employee's yearly sales amount, we add that employee's sales amount to the four quarters. This function must have an access to the array salesperson list. This function also needs to know the size of the array. Next, we will type in the function definition for the function print report. This function prints the annual report in a specified format. The print report function must have access to the array salesperson list and the array total sale by quarter. We now type in the format in which the output will be displayed. Also, because the output will be stored in a file, this function must have access to the upstream variable associated with the output file. Next, we type in those statements of the code which will output the data of each salesperson, his ID, sale by quarter, and total sale. Now we will type in the function definition for max sale by person. 
This function prints the name of the salesperson who produces the maximum sales amount. The algorithm to find the largest sales amount is similar to the algorithm to find the largest element in an array. We now output the salesperson's ID and the maximum sales amount. Now we type in the function definition for the function max sale by quarter. This function prints the quarter in which the maximum sales were made. To identify this quarter, we look at the total sales for each quarter and find the largest sales amount. Because the total sales for each quarter is in the array, total sale by quarter, this function must have access to the array, total sale by quarter. This function has two parameters, a parameter corresponding to the total sale by quarter and a parameter corresponding to the output file. The algorithm is the same as finding the largest element in an array. Next, we output the maximum sale by quarter amount. Now that the problem has been analyzed, we can describe the main function together with the complete program listing. The number of salesperson is declared as a named constant and is initialized to 6. Next, define the struct salesperson rec as described earlier. Next, we include the function prototypes of the functions initialize, get data, sale by quarter, total sale by person, print report, max sale by person, max sale by quarter, as described earlier. The body of the main function starts here. InFile and OutFile are the input and output file stream variable respectively. Input file and output file are the variables to store input file name and output file name respectively. Total sale by quarter is the array to hold the sale by quarter. Salesperson list is the array to hold the salesperson's data. Prompt the user to enter the salesperson ID file name. Read and store the input file name in the variable input file. Open the input file just entered by the user. An error message is displayed if the input file cannot be opened and the program is terminated. The initialize function is called to read the salesperson's ID and store it in the salesperson list. The input file is closed and stream is cleared. Prompt the user to enter the sales data file name and store it in the variable input file. Display an error message if the input file cannot be opened and terminate the program. Prompt the user to enter the file output name. To output floating point numbers in a fixed decimal format with the decimal point in trailing zeros, set the manipulators fixed and show point. Also, to output floating point numbers to two decimal places, set the precision to two decimal places. To process the sales data, call the function getData. To calculate the total sales by quarter, call the function sale by quarter. To calculate the total sales for each salesperson, the function total sale by person is called. To print the report in a tabular format, we call the function print report. To find and print the salesperson who produced the maximum sales for the year, call the function max sale by person. To find and print the quarter that produces the maximum sales for the year, call the function max sale by quarter. Close all files, and with that, we end the body of the main function. Next, we place the function definitions for the functions initialize, get data, sale by quarter, total sale by person, print report, max sale by person, max sale by quarter, as discussed earlier. A sample run of the program would look like this.